Ava DuVernay retweeted and replied to me on Twitter. You can no longer talk to me or my daughter. Hello, welcome back to Geeky Girls Night In. I'm Leslie, together with Quinzel. We make geeky content. So, a few things before we get started. As you can see, I'm outside. You can probably see bubbles behind me. Geeky Baby is playing down on the ground. So, we decided to make it a bubble party. And she's got a bubble machine that she got when she was like three. That is top notch, as you can see. Bubbles everywhere. Um, today's video is a very quick unboxing. And it's not one category. It's not just makeup. It's not just technology. It's a couple things that I got in the mail. So let me go get stuff and we will go get started. Okay, so I am back with everything and um, we'll start with the first bag, which comes from M Cosmetics. And so M Cosmetics is made by Michelle Fan, who is like an OG on YouTube. And like I've been looking at her stuff for a while now, but a couple problems. Number one, it's pricey. Number two, Michelle Khan is Asian American and she is on the lighter spectrum of Asian Americans. And so I was a little concerned about her products um, not suiting me, not being the right color, things like that. And I know that she makes products for darker people but when people say that are we talking my dark which is very ashy I just got out the shower I apologize or are we talking you know geeky baby's dark who is biracial but pale as snow so um yeah but she had a sale a couple weeks ago and so I went ahead and took the plunge after watching a few um, reviews from people of color, mostly black women, on YouTube. Now, I ordered it and then I saw another review that completely trashed uh, one of the items that I got. So I'm a little concerned. We will see. Um, one of the problems that she had was that she had she has incredibly oily skin and the product was like breaking up on her cheeks. It just wasn't working out for her. Hold on. Let me make sure that the bubble machine has more bubbles in it. Like I said, she had a, a sale, and so I went ahead and I pulled the trigger, and the first thing I got was the Color Drop Serum Blush, and I got it, of course, in Venetian Rose, which I think is her classic color, and this, like, I, this is the thing that I have been eyeballing since I learned about M Cosmetics. Like, I, like, Venetian Rose looks so pretty, um, so dewy, so flush. Um, typically, when I wear blush, I wear one of two blushes. I wear either my powder Milani blush, or I wear a, um, it's the Glossier, like, they look like little tubes. Um, I have it in, I think, Haze, which is a very light pink. I had one in a darker pink so I could mix them together and get, like, the flush look that I like. But I lost the darker pink. I don't know. And Glossier had a sale a couple months ago, and I picked up a different darker color, like more of a purple. So I haven't worn that yet. I, with my job the way it is and me having to be out... me having to be out on the road and sweating and stuff which you would have seen in not the sweat you would have seen my explanation in the last uh, work vlog like I, I can't wear makeup while I'm out and about so this is it and to me oh, oh it flew away to me this looks more like a terracotta than a pink so oh and then on the side it tells me to scan for like the perfect drop instructions Scan for the secret of the perfect drop. But basically it says dispense one drop to cover both cheeks 
with clean hands, blend into skin with fingertips in a soft tapping motion. Somebody really would be drilling right now on a Sunday. Um, so I'm not gonna put it on my face because like it's incredibly sunny out. I don't know if you can tell, but um, what we will do, and like the top is a plunger. That does not pick up the, <laughs> the the stuff at all. Hold on. There we go. There's a drop. I, I have it. I think I might have put too much, but it looks good on my skin tone. It's it's pink like I wanted. I hope you guys can see that. It, it'll give like a very soft pink look. Hold on. There we go. Can you see that? Yeah, soft pink. It's what I was looking for. And I'll check back in a bit after it's dried down. I'll check back in a bit after it's dried down so we can take a look. Um, the second thing that I got from her was the daydream cushion and it's perfect and protect broad spectrum fp spf 50 pa plus 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 a sunscreen it's oh it comes with one compact one refill and two cushion puffs it's basically a tinted cushion so i don't use a lot of foundation i use like a tinted moisturizer most of the time. My skin isn't bad. I don't have a lot of acne. I have dark spots that I can conceal those and then um good. So and then a little bit of tinted foundation and I'm fine. So what we got here? Uh, I got the the blush on my fingers. I don't want to get this messy. So it comes with this compact with her design on it which is very simplistic I I dig and then how do I open huh, like that and then you open it and and this is M cosmetics oops M cosmetics on the cushion all right so it says your dream awaits you on the and it tells me to remove the protective film on the mirror before use now the other uh, cushion foundations I have that had that same thing too I just got to find the tab I'll do that later and then we pull this off and I got the color I don't know warm dusk and it says it's dark deep so let us see. So it looks grainy almost. Hey, that's actually my color. Turn up. Is the sponge is shedding slightly though? Like the the cushiony part is shedding. So that may be an issue. We will see. Um, here, let's go whole hog. So, I have the cushion on my hand, and, oh, I have the sponge on my hand, and I'm pressing into the cushion, and then that's the color. And, hold on. Here, let's do it with this other hand, since I have the blush on the back of the other hand. So... Okay, so it's not 100% my color. It's a little yellow for me, but I can work with that. Golly, I hope you can see that. The, the sun is killing everything. So, let's go ahead and... So, that's what I got from M Cosmetics. And then... Oh, so it comes with... Like, I thought... I don't know what I thought, but basically there's a refill and two other cushions... Or two other sponges in here. 
So that's cool. Like that's a lot of product for what I paid. So I'm gonna go ahead and go on to the next thing. Okay, so my the next package that I'm opening has to do with this bad boy. This is my hydro jug and it holds 73 ounces of water so like I have told you guys on a previous vlog vlog that I swell quite a bit I don't know why I just I always have um, it's actually gotten worse recently fortunately I have a doctor's appointment tomorrow and I'm gonna bring it up with her um, but like drinking water helps the swelling a lot and I fill this up with ice I fill it up with water and it'll I can get through one I can get through two of these a day so um, it has a straw and normally you know it has a straw that I currently need to wash and um, yeah it normally pops out like that when I open the thing but it was at a weird angle. The straw is extra long and it has a um, a bendy part at the bottom so that when I close the lid like it bends it but it doesn't break it. It's supposed to bend like that. Um, I love this thing. It you know like I said I fill it with ice I fill it with water and like two of these I'm cool a day. I pee a lot but it also helps maintain my blood sugar when I drink water. Like I, I use less insulin um, I'm type 2 diabetic so um, the problem I was having with this was that like when I fill it with ice and I fill it with water it sweats like there's just like puddle of water constantly so um, I went ahead and I placed another order with them and like they have hold on let me open and show you before I start talking about it so I bought First of all, I bought another straw. Um, yeah, because I I always need an extra straw. Uh, okay. So, yeah, here's the Hydro straw. Super simple. And, like, this is the bendy portion right here. And allows it to like rest when the lid on the hydro jug is closed. So there's that. And this is what I actually bought. This is a carrier. Um, this has a lot less pieces than I thought it would. But whatever. Okay, so this like the hydro jug sits in it and like all that condensation all of that all that yeah all of that condensation like soaks up into this thing and then it's got pocket on the front for like your phone and like your cards I guess but the way that I'm disorganized like nothing will probably go in there so and then it comes with a strap get the strap no so that you can carry it like a purse almost if you wanted to so give me a second I'm gonna go off camera I'm gonna put this thing on and, and see where we go oh there's instructions too so give me a second and I'll put this bad boy on hold on all right so I'm back and I have it on so it doesn't I'm wondering if I if there's a difference between the one I got and the other one so this one I got I paid like 10 bucks for and the rest of them are like 15 or so and I thought it was just because of the colors and but the sun's coming back out and but this doesn't cover as much as I thought it would I'm gonna go back on the site and take a look at the others and see what if any the difference is between the two so but yeah it's cool and like here's the strap and so I can throw it on my arm if I want to um, which you know isn't a bad idea when I when I'm actually physically working I don't take this in with me 
um, I leave it in my car, like in the shade, and then just take big glugs when I come back out. But if I could carry this around, it might be it might be worth it. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. And so I have one more package to open, and this one's pretty cool. This one is from Quinzel. And like I told you guys before that Quinzel recently wrote a book. It became available July 20th. So ta-da. Quinzel's Guide to Life. So I haven't read it yet. So it says Leslie. Thank you for everything, including the secret identity. None of this would be possible without you. May a gang of Pikachus invade your space sometime soon. So, um, Pikachus cure my depression. Like, giant hugging Pikachus. It's a whole thing. So, yeah, this is her book. So, I'll give you the first page, and then you need to go and get your own. This is the introduction. My name is Quinzel. You don't know me, but I am somebody you already know. I'm the weird child in your elementary school who gets excited about the stars and planets and writing papers over the weekend. It's true. As a kid, I'd often get into trouble for filling up all the extra notebooks at home with my random stories. 70 page, 70 page wide world notebook? Little Quinzel was coming for you. I'm the even weirder child who couldn't be traditionally punished. Often sent to the computer room for talking out of turn, those huge, hefty black and green monitor screens fascinated me. Pages and pages of my stories were printed off on a dot matrix printer. Eager to share my story, I was just ex I was just as excited to tear off the edges of my paper, of the paper. After spending a time out in the computer room, I can still see the shock and disappointment as I handed it my teacher a 40-page story I printed off. She had hoped, I think that I would spend time reflecting upon my punishment, not finding another way to talk excessively, just through writing. So, go ahead and check her book out. Maybe we will do a couple giveaways on the channel so you guys can get your own. We'll see. So, like I said, it was a random array of stuff and um, this is the, the blush and it's still I see what the woman meant it's it's very it moves it moves a lot like I don't know we'll see like it's on my arm and I used an excessive amount I used over the drop that it said so I'm back inside because well the heat outside and my camera did not match and there wasn't pretty much anything else to say. Um, that is everything. Um, if you like this content, feel free to subscribe. Leave a like. And if you have any questions, let me know down in the comments below. If you have a makeup brand that you think I should try, a book that you would think I, a book you think I would be interested in, or anything like that also let me know down in the comments below um, one of us is always around on social media me more so than Quinzel I think but we're always here now if you'll excuse me uh, Shonu wrote a letter to mom babies and I'm gonna go scream in a pillow somewhere bye